Hey and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Journalist confirms Alejandro Garnacho's injury is worse than expected. Manchester United forward Alejandro Garnacho could be sidelined for a while following his ankle injury against Southampton, TYC journalist Gaston Edu reports. The 18-year-old was the subject of a strong challenge in the box from Kyle Walker-Peters on Sunday and he was visibly in pain for several minutes after the incident. The youngster managed to carry on after receiving treatment but manager Eric Ten Hag decided to take him off as he did not want an unfit player for the final minutes with 10 men. Speaking after the game, Ten Hag said that the Argentine situation is not too bad, but Edu now claims that the injury is worse than expected after initial examination. The journalist did not provide a time scale for the recovery, but admitted that Garnacho could miss out on making his Argentina debut in the upcoming internationals. The youngster has had a tremendous breakthrough campaign with United. He has nine goal contributions, with many of those being in match-winning situations. He looked lively in his cameo appearance against the Suns at the weekend, but unfortunately could not carry on after a scissor challenge from Walker Peters. A separate report from Diario Ole claims that he suffered a sprain of the fibula astragalus ligament in his right ankle. He could possibly return in two weeks. In our view, United will probably ask Garnacho to be withdrawn from Argentina's international friendlies, such that he is fit to face in Newcastle next month. Anthony Martial would be perfect for Eric Ten Hag, but now, he has to spend £100 million, pound, says Poundit. Manchester United only have one player scoring in double figures this season, with Marcus Rashford enjoying an impressive revival. Anthony Martial had hoped for similar success. Unfortunately, his body has not held up. Martial has proven totally unreliable, starting only six Premier League games of a possible 27. The Frenchman has still managed to score six goals, the last of which came on his most recent appearance back on February 1. Former Manchester United defender Rio Ferdinand told Five he believes Anthony Martial is perfect for Eric Ten Hag's system. He said, if you could get Martial fit and 100% playing every week, he would be the perfect fit for the way Eric Ten Hag wants to play. He just can't stay fit. His profile of player is the player they will go and spend £100 million on the market to go and get. Martial gave a glimpse of what he is capable of in preseason when he scored three in three games. He then suffered an injury and has been chasing his tail ever since. Martial's troubles with injury have been consistent for a while now, dating back to 2021 when he missed the Europa League final and Euro 2020 tournament. His loan spell at Sevilla was also ruined by three separate injuries. This season has followed the same pattern. Martial is back in a training but is not expected to return until after the international break. Even if he stays fit between now and the end of the season, it won't deter Manchester United from signing a striker. Even if it means spending £100 million on an alternative, United simply have to bite the bullet and spend it. We cannot go through this predictable drama of relying on Martial as the lead striker once again. If he wants to stay and compete, his task begins with staying fit. Sadly, his injury troubles mean United can't even rely on him as a backup. Mason Greenwood scarves picture it for sale outside Old Trafford. While a decision awaits over Mason Greenwood's future, Merchandise featuring the forward is on sale outside Old Trafford. Photographers captured a Mason Greenwood scarf for sale at a stall close to the ground ahead of Manchester United's home draw with Southampton. Mason Greenwood has not played a first team game for Manchester United since January 2022. He was then arrested and charged in connection with off field offences and subsequently suspended by the club. Charges against Greenwood were dropped in February, opening up questions over the player's future. United last month launched their own internal investigation into the circumstances 
pleading to his arrest with no decision taken yet, Greenwood, 21, is still listed as a first-team player on the club's website. He made 129 first-team appearances, scoring 35 goals. The Sun recently reported that Greenwood held his first face-to-face -face meeting with the club bosses as part of the ongoing investigation. A report in The Athletic claims all options are on the table, including a phased return and even terminating his contract. No decision is expected to be taken before the end of the current campaign. Manchester United decide not to appeal Casimiro red card with a player set for four games ban. Manchester United have decided not to appeal Casimiro's red card, which the player picked up on Sunday during a 0-0 draw against Southampton. A foul on Carlos Alcaraz in the 32nd minute saw Anthony Tyler give the Brazilian a yellow card. However, the VAR official André Mariner advised Tyler to go have a second look on the off-pitch monitor. The result was that Tyler revised his decision and gave the United man his marching orders. Casimiro will miss United's next four games, an FA Cup tie against Fulham and the Premier League clashes against Newcastle, Brentford and Everton. According to the Daily Mail, the Red Devils have decided not to appeal the decision, despite Eric Ten Hag openly expressing his fury after the game. Ten Hag lamented the referee's inconsistent decision making after the game. The United boss pointed out how Casimiro had never seen a red card in over 500 appearances before coming to United, but was now on the end of two debuts and debatable decisions. Ten Hag insisted that the nature of the Premier League means that physicality and heavy contact should be allowed. Ten Hag also said that Casimiro was disappointed by the verdict. United must now find ways of winning in the 31-year-old's absence. Man United make contact with Marcus Thuram's camp over free transfer. Manchester United have made contact with the representatives of Borussia Mönchengladbach star Marcus Thuram over a free transfer this summer. Calcio Mercato report, the France international has had a good campaign with the Bundesliga outfit, scoring 14 goals and providing 4 assists from 25 appearances in all competitions. He is widely expected to leave the club when his contract expires in June, and Calcio Mercato cite that Juventus and Inter Milan are set to face Premier League competition. The Serie A do you stand to benefit from the Italian growth decree, on Thuram, but it's reported that the 25-year-old could earn a better salary with a move to the English top flight. United are one of the clubs that have made contact with his camp. However, they are not alone with Tottenham Hotspur and Newcastle United also in the race for his services. Martial has been sidelined with five separate injuries during the current season and he has been restricted to just over 700 minutes of first-team football in all competitions. Hence, the club are already contemplating his exit in the summer, and in our opinion, Thuram would be an upgrade on his compatriot for the 23-24 campaign and beyond. Thuram is obviously a couple of years younger than Martial, but also possesses superior dribbling skills. He is also better when it comes to winning ground and aerial duels. Like Martial, he can play on the left wing or up front. The 25-year-old would be a huge bargain for United on a free transfer and could be used in rotation by manager Eric Ten Hag. United currently face competition from four European sides but should easily lure Thuram to Old Trafford with a lucrative signing on fee and a big hike on his £54,000 a week wages. Man United won't agree deal for Eduardo Camavinga, the Sepaid Bazaar report. Manchester United are expected to sign a central midfielder this summer, as Eric Ten Hag could oversee an exodus at the end of the season, and a bizarre report from Spain says that Eduardo Camavinga might be the one coming to Old Trafford. Scott McTominay has started only one Premier League game for the United since October, while Donny van de Beek has amassed 294 minutes of playing time from a possible 3,960 this season, so the pair could be moved on in the coming months. Danny Serrano of El National says Camavinga could go in the opposite direction, despite being a regular at Real Madrid. 
the 20 year old joined Los Blancos from Stade René in 2021 and has gone on to make 80 appearances in all competitions, scoring two goals with three assists. Kamavinga has played in 40 games across the board this season, missing just one match, so he is highly valued at Madrid. The French international doesn't always command a starting place, but he isn't left out of games if he is fit, so why would he be sold to United? Serrano says the Red Devils are willing to pay 90 million euros to snatch him away from the Santiago Bernabeu, but such a deal makes little sense. Real have no reason to sell Camavinga, who has four and a half years remaining on his deal, so United's reported pursuit is surely dead in the water. The 20-year-old would be third in United's squad for successful dribbles per game, 1.1, first for fouls, one per game, 1.9, and first for passing accuracy, 91.6, so he'd certainly improved the team that has struggled when first the choice pair Casimero and Christian Eriksen haven't played together. However, given how much Madrid invested in Camavinga and how they are building their midfield to compete for the next decade, it seems improbable that United could sign the Frenchman. Man United face competition from Chelsea and PSG to sign Victor Osimhan this summer. Manchester United face competition from Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain in the race to sign Napoli striker Victor Osimhan this summer, Sky Sport Germany journalist Florian Plattenberg claims. The Nigeria international has had a top season with Napoli, scoring 21 goals and providing 5 assists from 27 appearances in all competitions. His form has caught the eye of several elite clubs, including United, but they are set to face competition during the summer's transfer window. According to Plattenberg, Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain have a joint United in the race for the striker, who could cost at least 100 million euros. Manchester City have also made an inquiry for him, though a transfer is unlikely as they already have Erling Haaland and Julian Alvarez. United could move for Ossiman after Spurs' stance on Hurricane. Earlier this month, it was reported that Tottenham Hotspur star Harry Kane is the prime target for manager Eric Ten Hag this summer. However, a transfer seems unlikely to happen with Spurs determined to keep the striker for the final year of his contract if he does not renew. Hence, the Red Devils may have to look elsewhere and they could turn their focus towards landing Osimhan from the Serie A leaders. Osimhan has had a top campaign for Napoli with 26 goal contributions in 27 games. He is just entering the prime of his career at the age of 24. The Nigerian would be a top-class acquisition for United with his excellent finishing pace on the counter-attack and his aerial presence in the box. Plattenberg claims that he could be prized away for 100 million euros, but recent reports have suggested, but recent reports have suggested that Napoli could hold out for as much as 150 million euros. In our view, United may need to pay a fee close to that figure, as Napoli president Aurelio De Laurentiis is a tough negotiator when it comes to his players. Serie A star's injury a reminder of what United went through for three years. Paul Pogba formally left Manchester United to rejoin Juventus on a free transfer last summer, and he has since failed to get over his injury troubles. The Frenchman had a vastly injury-plagued final season with the Red Devils, and his situation has only got worse with his return to the Bianconeri. Pogba has made the matchday squad in just three of the club's 37 games this campaign, while he has spent only 35 minutes on the playing field. It has now been confirmed that the 29-year-old has picked up a fresh adductor injury in a training and he could be out for the next four weeks at least. While Pogba is no longer a United player, the club could have been better served selling him a couple of years ago when his injury concerns worsened. The World Cup winner missed a staggering 81 matches in his last three seasons at the club, but the hierarchy were still open to renewing his deal. The Pogba chapter with United has now been closed, but it's a stark reminder that the board should avoid repeating the same mistake, this time with Anthony Martial. The 27-year-old has had a dismal time with injuries this campaign, 
and he has already missed 29 games across all competitions under manager Eric Ten Hag. United have the option to extend his contract expiring in June 2024 by another 12 months, but in our opinion, they must part ways with the forward this summer. A nagging hip problem has been the reason behind his recent absence, but United should not fall into the Pogba trap again and must cash in on him at the earliest. I will be uploading daily Manchester United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.